Hey, what's up? Martin here, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a cool DNA-like uh, animation. Um, at the moment, I only have this as a picture and not really uh, anything to show you guys, but as a picture itself, it looks pretty amazing. Let me just turn on... Yeah, I've turned everything off, but uh, let me just turn on the depth of field so you can get a feel how it looks like when it's done. Um, yeah, this is just an intro uh, sequence, and it's going to be a, a few parts tutorial, so yeah, I don't really have to worry about any time limits. Um, you do notice the the grainy stuff out here. It's because I turned off the global illumination. Uh, with a global illumination effect, this looks a lot better. Um, this is what we're going to be creating, and hopefully also animating. Um, I'll just show a few examples of this stuff. Uh, I'm using it for my websites, which hopefully will be out soon. But, uh, yeah. Th this is the main graphic after a uh, color correction uh, in After Effects. I've also got um, for the other pages um, yeah, a few graphics as well. So, um, and I also got this one. Uh, the colors don't quite match up, but that'll be fixed soon enough. Um, so without further ado, um, let's just dive in and make one of these uh, DNA strands. So let's open a new file. And let's just, because we're going to animate this, we're going to go into the render settings and go to outputs. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> 1280 by 720. If you want to go... Uh, 1980 by uh, 1080 you can do that as well but I'm just gonna go with um, 1280 uh, the frame rate will be 50 might be a bit long render time but who cares and there we are um, one little tip uh, don't create a floor uh, I did it in the main graphic but that's only for the main graphic if you want to animate this you should do it on a white background with no floor so let's just create a white background so create a sky and that's looking pretty white as is but let's just make a little bit of texture here and make the color white and maybe add a little bit of luminance maybe uh, 34 35 percent and just drag it onto the sky object here and let's preview that that's looking really white so let's use that Okay, let's make the uh, side of the DNA, to call it that. Yeah, I don't really have the name for it, but you know what I mean. Um, we're going to create a platonic, so just hold down this button right here, keep your mouse button clicked, and select the platonic. Um, select the Y-axis and move it up 100, hold shift to um, make it move in steps of 10. Um, we're gonna make the radius a bit smaller, maybe, um, let's just say, 70, and make the segments 2, not 3, not 4, not 5, just 2. So, what we're gonna do now is make this an editable, editable poly, it's by pressing this little button right here, so we've done that, and we got our editable poly right here. So, what we're going to do is go to this, uh, well, Let's select this one right here first, and just start selecting pairs of three. Um, make sure they're not touching, because if they touch, even with uh, preserved groups unchecked, it gives some weird results. So um, don't don't let the sides touch. If you get a point to touch, that's not a problem. But uh, make sure the sides don't touch. And this this might take a few seconds, but I'm happy with the results, and I guess you'll be as well. Um, yeah, that that's all we can select without having edges touch. So let's go to structure, extrude, and set it to an offset of five meters, variable zero percent, and preserve groups off. Then we just hit apply. And we're gonna go on by uh, going to the selection tool again, or whatever tool you want to use, and just do the same for the squares, uh, triangles that aren't extruded yet. Again, make sure they don't touch. 
And this is a bit of a hassle, but you only have to do this once, so... Might be fun, just, just put up some music or talk to uh, whoever's watching this tutorial. Uh, hit apply as well, now we're going to go for the last uh, few triangles right here. Just make sure you got each and every one of them, like if I get these two triangles right there. Oops, there's another one. Yeah, here was one as well. I only got five minutes left, so I've got to hurry up a bit, but this won't take that long anymore because we got them all. Okay, uh, go to the extrude tool, hit apply as well. Uh, there is a way to um, do this all at once, but well, it doesn't take that much more time, does it? Okay, now we're going to select all of the inner triangles, so the ones you did not extrude. And again, make sure you've got all of them, because if you miss one, it might just give uh, a weird effect when you're done with this. Let's see, I got a few over here. And I think that's all of them. Okay, let's go to the extrude tool, and let's put it to an offset of minus 20. I think that's enough. Uh, hit new transform and there they Yes, they're gone. So um, you could do minus 40 and do it in one go. Uh, I didn't really know how much I had to extrude it in, but okay. So let's just duplicate this. Command, control C, Control V, or Command C, Control V, uh, Command V, sorry, on Mac. And let's just move it, oops, <laughs> sorry, uh, make sure this tool is selected and just move it over uh, 300, um, yeah, let's move it over 300 to the X axis. Now we're going to make a new cylinder, it's about it's somewhere here, around here, yeah, it's a cylinder. Um, let's make the radius a bit smaller. It's got to be pretty small, and that's that's looking quite good. Um, <clears throat> rotate it flat, so rotate it, hold shift, and that makes it uh, snap to yeah values of ten, and move it up. And we're just gonna up the radius of this just of the height of this just a bit, so it sure to stay in there a bit higher there we go that's looking pretty good um, I might scale this platonic down just a bit because there's a, they're a bit on the large size and let's do it like that and let's make you a bit smaller too There we go. Uh, they might look a bit um, choppy when they're this small, but uh, when you turn on the anti-aliasing, um, it will be good. Let's make the radius just a touch smaller. Four, that's the trick. Okay, now we're going to make uh, two textures, and I only got two minutes left, so I'm going to hurry up. Uh, make a new texture. Um, leave the color, well, make it, yeah. It's white, so leave it at that. My bad. Make the color a pure white. Go to the reflection, turn it on. Go to texture, and put in a Fresnel. Then make the color of the reflection black, and this one black as well. Maybe a bit gray. Yeah, I, I'm kind of doing this a bit clumsy, but. I didn't fully remember how I made this thing. <laughs> okay, um, let's move this down to about 75. And as you see, as I move this down, the reflection goes back in this instance, or the, the Fresnel goes back. Um, we're gonna just go for uh, 75% and close it down and drop it on one of the platonics. And if we render that out, 
it looks pretty good so we're going to do the same for uh, drag the same uh, material onto the cylinder and make a new material and we're going to do the same as just now make the color this time a bit li lighter gray go to transparent uh, reflection turn it on and again put in a fresnel and turn it to 75 percent uh, you can do any reflect uh, uh, any texture you want, but this this looks pretty good if you want going for the black and white look of this. Now we're gonna zoom out a bit, and as you if you got this, um, that means we're at the part the end of part one. I'm just gonna size these platonics down just a bit. I'm I'm just not happy with them. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe move this over just a touch. Same for the next one. Okay, that concludes part one of my um, DNA. Yeah, I'm doing the quotation thing in, in the air, but nobody can see me, so I did not really know why I did that. But I'm Martin, and see you at part two.